This video is for men. It is about meeting a girl, what men truly look for in a woman, which is why men turn it into a multi-billion dollar industry worldwide, the courtship, getting married, the marriage, and the divorce. And the last video clip gives good advice. The bro code is part of every man from the time we are born. It is instinctive. A rich, young businessman was under pressure from his parents to get married. His parents introduced him to three very suitable women. They were all very beautiful, smart, kind, and well-educated. So to help make up his mind, he decided to test all three and gave them all thousand dollars to see how they would spend it. The first woman got a total makeover and told the man, I spent the money to make myself as beautiful as possible for you. The second woman bought him a big screen TV, golf clubs, and fishing gear, and told the man, I spent the money on gifts for you to show you I will always put your wants and needs before mine. The third woman invested the money. Then, after she tripled the original $1,000, she gave the man back the $1,000, reinvested the $2,000 she had left, and made $100,000. Then she told the man, I invested your money wisely and made 10 times more than what you gave me. I wanted to show you that I will be smart with the future that I will make with you. The man was impressed with all three and knew he had a tough decision to make. The next day, he decided to marry the one with the nicest pair of tits. You were saying something about how women do a lot more to get ready for the date. Get their hair done, they get their makeup done, they get their nails done. And guys, what? they get a what? haircut, they take a shower. No. If a guy is asking a girl out on a date and she's, she finds him attractive, she finds him valuable, he's got confidence, he's got game, all that kind of stuff, and she says yes to going on the date with him, he prepared himself to become that kind of man for years in advance. All you have to do as a woman is put, put on your makeup and just show up to the date. The guy has to work on his career to be able to take you out to a nice dinner. If you're into fit guys, he's got to spend years in the gym working on his physique. He's got to make something of himself so that he's successful and has confidence. There's years of work that go into it beforehand. So Dad, I think she's the one. I'm going to marry her. Tell me you're sorry. Wait, what? What? Tell me you're sorry. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm not saying sorry. Hey, until you can say you're sorry for no reason at all, you're not ready. I ended up marrying the wrong person, okay, so I'll just put it that way. And I didn't know what divorce looked like. All I know is that people get divorced. It was relatively common, but I didn't know the steps that were involved. Nobody ever told me. Had I known, or had I even, even if somebody said, you know, Rich, you might want to sit in a family courtroom for a couple hours before you go and get married just to see, just so you can see how fathers get treated in court, right? Yeah. So before anybody out there thinks about getting married, I'm telling you right now, go sit in a family courtroom and watch how fathers get treated because you'll think twice about taking nuptials and vows in a place like Canada because it is very hostile towards men and fathers. And I had a 20-minute uh, call. I was driving my car at the time. I had a 20-minute call with my family there. He said, uh, well, you don't want to go to court in this because the person that has the team is going to lose. And I thought to myself, what? The person that has the team is going to lose. But if I asked your husband why y'all divorced, what would he tell me? Domestic violence. Okay. How, how often did you beat his ass? No, I, I'm the victim. Mm. And, and I'm okay with it. I thank God I got out alive. And how long have you been divorced? Uh, for, uh, for two years. Because how long were y'all married? Seven months. So now, hold on. I know I got a new calculator, but you got kids that are like in their 20s. Right. About two different guys or about one? About one. Why didn't you marry him? The last one? No, the one that, that impregnated you once or twice. Oh, he went to jail. Oh, so you pick ass whoopers and felons, and then you're going to complain about yeah, what other... I, mean, I need you to stop right here, ma'am. I need you to slow the whole French toast down. I'm not going to let you get on here and talk about what black men are not when you picking whoop dudes that whoop your ass and are the felons. I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel. I got to respect it. 
And that's all you have to say. If that's how I feel, I'm going to respect I mean, it. You, you seem like you said your one liner. Like if that's all you have to say, you let's hug like and let's just let it go. You ain't trying to fight for nothing. You seem like you've already made your it decision. It ain't about me already making a decision. You don't have a rebuttal you for seem nothing like that I'm you've saying. Already made your decision. I wanted you to say something. I'm and you're not saying you speak. it's not time to listen. It's time to talk. All of the things you say, you want to be there. You're here for me. You're all about the future and everything. You didn't even fight for a second. Are you heading to the store? Yeah. Why don't you pick up some of those pills that'll help you get it up? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Back from the store? Yep, there you go. But these are diet pills. Exactly. At their 30th anniversary, a married couple sits together in rocking chairs at sundown. The woman knits while her husband reads the paper. The man looks over at his wife, and she's just glaring at him. The husband says, What now? She sighs and replies, Nothing. A few minutes later, the wife gets up, walks over to him, looks into his eyes, and slaps him so hard that he falls out of his chair. In deadly silence, the husband gets up, brushes himself off, picks up the paper, and returns to reading it. After a while, he says, What the hell was that for? The wife replies, That's for 30 years of bad sex. The husband continues reading. Half an hour later, he calmly gets up, walks over, and smacks her wife so hard that her chair is broken. She gets up in shock and says, What was that for? The husband says, That was for knowing the difference. I don't know if this is funny or what, or not, but my neighbors over here are getting a divorce. She told him last night that he, or he told her last night that she could have the house and everything in it. Well, this morning he goes and rents some heavy equipment, and him and his best friend has been over here today while she's been at work, and uh, she hasn't got home yet. Uh, she has no idea. So, uh, Objections? <laughs> <laughs> 